country has seen some pretty impressive double acts. Morecambe and Wise, the two Ronnies, French and Saunders, but none have captured the public's imagination quite as much as the ingenious Big Howard and Little Howard. Hello, we're Big Howard, Little Howard, the world's first human cartoon double act. Yes, I'm Little Howard and he's Big Howard. Well, <laughs> I'm the one that's a cartoon. <laughs> Probably could have guessed that. Um, um, it's We've got to be extra funny today, Big Howard. Well, obviously we have. That's why I've written an extra funny sketch, especially for the occasion. Because I don't know if you've noticed this, Big Howard, but... We're not famous. <laughs> Everyone else in the show is famous. And all the audience will be thinking, Who the hell are these guys? <laughs> I say that? I'm sorry, he's, he's only six. He's, he's, he's not been doing this for very long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Stealing the show at last year's Royal Variety Show. And joining us now, the bigger one of the act, Howard Reed. Welcome, Howard. Hello. Uh, it was touch and go whether you made the Royal Variety performance, wasn't it? It was quite close, yes, because um, we got married uh, the, 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 about two weeks beforehand and came back from the honeymoon just for, and we, we came over the meeting uh, four, four days before I got married. This is so, Natalie. Na to, my, to, my, to my wife, Natalie, yes. Um, and uh, so I, I spent the week writing jokes about the Queen rather than about my wife to be. <laughs> yeah, <that was. laughs> On your honeymoon when you should have been doing other things. Yes. Hmm. And, that, and that, in that picture there we saw uh, your son, uh, Samson, little Samson. Is yes, that the yeah, picture yeah. there? Look, look, there he is. Oh, oh there's the boy. Oh, yeah. look. And how does little Howard feel about little Samson? Little Howard's a bit. Yeah, Samson's fascinated by little Howard. Samson just always points him and finds it. But li uh, little Howard has has got some some issues. It's a sort of bit a bit of jealousy. A, yeah, a do awkward sort of second child. So mm. where did you find little Howard? When did he arrive? Well, I just I would initially just I would just stand up. is my background, and I just drew um, a picture, a little picture, and animated him to send out to advertise a show that I was doing. And I thought, well, I wonder if I could make him do stand up. And we did that a couple of few years ago, and that little Howard stole the show completely from me. I got reviews saying that I should be written out on the show, <laughs> which was fun. Uh, and then I wrote the next show about being written out of the show, and that got nominated for the Perrier. And it sort of slowly sort of snowballed from there. Fantastic. Yeah. And how does it work? Can we? I'd yeah. have to kill you if I if I tell. Oh really? Oh, it's but that yeah, secret. Yeah, it's top is secret. It? I don't, actually, I'm worried about people nicking the idea, but it's so much hard work that it's it's basically computers and clickers and things like that. Wow. And you've got two sort of distinctively different shows, haven't you? You've got your adult show and you've got a, a children's show as well. Yeah, yeah. And the, the neither of them. Uh, I try and make the kids show as as as, as family. I sometimes think I'm writing a parent show hmm. uh, in, as as well as a, as a kid show because you've got. I, I try and entertain everyone at once. But well, the adult shows. Pantomime things hit a different level. Yes, don't exactly. They? So you're yeah. effectively writing two shows at once. Mm. But with the with the adult show, you can just mm. write as much filth as you like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, and so wh wh where did the, uh, the 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 show that part of the show that, uh, that we saw at the Royal Variety performance where did that fit in? Because you've got to be quite careful if you're performing in front of the Queen. Yeah, well, I, I think that's one of the reasons they wanted me, um, wanted us, uh, because because um, we can get away with stuff. Because little Howard can just say things that, and it's charming and it's sweet when he says. Misses it. the queen. But if I said it, <laughs> then then because uh, there's there was various bits of protocol where you, you, you're supposed to call her ma'am, obviously, and uh, call her her Majesty when you first say it. But uh, when little Howard did it, no one seemed to mind when he got it wrong. And he called Aww. her Mrs. the Queen. Yes, Mrs. Aww. the Queen. Yes. Yes. So what character has he? I mean, he's a naughty little boy with no nose and no ears. Yes, don't bring that up when he's here. Oh, really? He'll get very upset. Is he yeah. coming today? Yeah, well, hopefully, yes. He's, oh. uh, his car's a bit late. but. Uh, and did he get to meet the Queen? He didn't, no. Oh, we can keep that a bit quiet as well. We well, may not mention it. Or yes. might, might. Well, this is you with the, the picture of you, you meeting the Queen. With your eyes Blinking. shut, yes, unfortunately, yes, isn't, I did, isn't I, it? it? It's a superstitious thing. I just thought I'd uh, just have my eyes shut for the whole time. <laughs> Don't look at it. You're not allowed to look at directly <laughs> like in the Medusa. eye. <laughs> <laughs> turned to gold or something like that. But, <laughs> I, blinked, and that I wasn't famous enough to warrant doing more than one photo. <laughs> <laughs> well, shall we meet the the, the, the chap in Certainly, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, let's we'll have a we'll have another uh, another clip of uh, of little Howard, and then hopefully he'll uh, he'll be here. I know, I'll do that trick. No, we're not doing that trick, no. We're sharing a dressing room with John Bon Jovi. And he does this amazing <laughs> trick. You always worry about them falling in with a rough crowd, don't you? Just You never expect the rough crowd's going to be John Bon Jovi. He drinks a round of fizzy pop, and trick. then he burps, I am the devil. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's revolting. So Watch this. No, 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 we're not doing, no, but no, look at me, put that away. Oh, you never let me do anything that John Bon Jovi does. <laughs> <laughs> and, and here he is now, what a delight. Hello, little Howard. Look, it's Bernard Philip off this morning. <laughs> Hello, little Howard. I think Fern and Philip are the nicest people on all of telly. Oh, it's very nice of you to say that. They're probably horrible in real life, though, as soon as the cameras go off. They can hear you, Little Howard. They're a lot bigger than usual. 
Have we got a bigger telly? He's kind of used to seeing you on telly, so... Sorry, say hello to Fern and Philip. Come on, you're being very rude. I, I don't understand. Go, get, say hello to Fern and Philip. They're here. We're, we're in the studio with them. Hello again, Philip. Hello, little hello. Howard. Hello, Fern. Hello, little Howard. Big Howard fancies you. <laughs> I don't fancy... When we're watching you on TV, he says, She's a bit of all right, that Fern Britain. <laughs> I, I don't... I, I respect you as a woman. That's... 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 that's, what, that's Fern, Big Howard. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop giggling. Stop it. You're being childish. If, if Fern and Philip started just randomly giggling all the time at the slightest thing, people would, people would just think they're incredibly unprofessional and that, that they should be taken off the air. Big Howard, they do that all the time. And when they do, it's it's utterly charming. <laughs> I think you should go and wait in the car, Big Howard. We were having such a nice time. I'd really like to sport it. I'd like to stay for the rest of the interview, please. Then I think you should apologise to Mr. and Mrs. Schofield. They're not actually married. Apologise to Mr. and Mrs. Schofield. I'm very sorry, Mr. And Mrs. Like Mr. you mean it. I'm very sorry, Philip and Fern. That's quite all right. Quite all right. Now, Little Howard, what is Big Howard like to work with? Well, as you can see, he can be very irritable, especially if he doesn't have his nap. It's like they always say, never work with grown-ups or humans. And, uh, and I, Bum, was lucky enough to work with you at the Raw Variety performance, both of you. And, and you, I know that you shared a dressing room with, uh, with Russell Brand. Was, was he nice to you? He? Is Russell Brand a man? Yes. He's, he's a man. But she's got long hair and she wears makeup. No, he. It's a, it's a man, trust me. It's I don't understand. Just, it's a man. She was... He. He was very nice to me. But, but he wanted us to play football with some baby chickens at the after-show party, which I didn't think was very nice. S school with some chicks, I think is what he said. <laughs> ah, right. <laughs> what does that mean? Um, we don't want to go into that with how a baby cartoon's made, that sort of thing. Yeah, let's move, move on. Yes, good idea. Good. Did you, did you get to see the Queen, Little Howard? No, I didn't. I wasn't allowed to meet the Queen because I'm only a drawing, you see. I met a drawing of the Queen, though. I gave him a tenner. <laughs> so I got to meet Charles Darwin, too. <laughs> and he wasn't even on the show. <laughs> well, that's nice. That's lovely. And you, I know that you, uh, you're, you're going out on tour, aren't you? We have to do a lot of driving around. A lot. Mm. Yeah. Why is it that grown-ups always say the same thing when they're driving? Like, no, we're not nearly there yet. And you should have gone before we left. <laughs> and uh, don't bother to signal, mates. I'm a flipping clairvoyant. <laughs> <laughs> Except Big Howard doesn't say flip. We don't need to go into that. <laughs> Me and Big Howard play this brilliant game while we're driving. Probably best not mention it. It's probably quite dangerous. Well, see how far we can drive with our eyes shut. It's brilliant. <laughs> Our record so far is... Birmingham. <laughs> Obviously, we wouldn't have gone there otherwise. <laughs> 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 Little Howard, do you have any riders? No, we, we've got a car. No, rider, uh, that's what you asked for to be put in the dressing room. Oh, yes. I asked for a bowl of M&Ms, Smarties and Skittles, but with all the yellow ones taken out. Because they make me go hyperactive. We have had issues with that in the past. I had some at the Royal Variety and I attacked Jimmy Tarbuck with a chair. <gasps> It was quite badly injured. I heard about yeah. that, and I did hear about that. And in your show, you have a, a, a song about, um, about Samson, don't you? Uh, what, what, That's what? Big Howard's son. Yeah. What, what do you mean, son? He's my son. He, he's real, and he's got a nose. Okay. Little Howard does have some issues with his little bit yes, jealous. Said, yeah. I'm not jealous. We, we get on very well. Well, maybe we should see the, well, t sing some of the songs, see how jealous. Let sell Samson, let sell Samson. I suppose we might as well sell Samson. Let sell Samson, got to sell Samson today. I'll just give him away. <laughs> I think we're all agreed he is a very nice take. My advice, take any old price. All he does is eat a lot of baby rice. I myself <laughs> would look at his stupid face twice, but there might be some mice or some silly word <laughs> lice who would like to buy Samson. Let sell Samson or get him kidnapped and to pay the ransom. Mm. Let's sell something. Oh, oh no, come on, let's not. Come on, I man. like it. It's a, it's a very it's catchy, catchy. catchy it's, song. It's, yes, it's, it's true. I can see that there are obviously some, some issues there. Uh, but but we'll, we'll leave it there for, for the there's moment. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, no, 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 there's nothing wrong with it. Right. No, it's, it's absolutely fine. We ought to leave it there. And yes, just I say, think say yeah. both of you, thank you very, very much indeed. What, what do we say to Fern and Philip? Oh, thank you very much for having us, Fern and Philip. 
Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank it's a you, pleasure, Don little Howard. And we should say also, you, well, we'll see you soon on CBBC. And you've got your uh, got your book out at the moment, Howard Reed. And this is very funny. It's all the nasty, scary things that you might find under your bed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go to sleep or terrible, terrible. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I can, it's going to be with you all day. <laughs> Thank you. Now, still to come, do you long to wear the same clothes as your trendy daughter? Well, today we reveal how you can and look equally as gorgeous in them. And uh, uh, just a quick reminder of our competition lines.